everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 294. I'm Nate Moore. I sent some data files off today for a presentation on conditional formatting. It's one of those bring your laptops, follow along, learn all kinds of things about conditional formatting, how you can use it to make dashboards and reports, analyze new data, all that good stuff. If I haven't spoken to your organization lately, I'd love to. Last time we did the double click trick and drilled down to detail a couple of different places. And to clean that up, when I'm done drilling down to detail, I've got the data I need, what I can do is right click and delete the data. And it'll say, hey, Nate, you've got data in there. I can delete it without touching my pivot table. My pivot table is still good. My data is still safe over here on the collections tab. This is a copy of my data. When you do the double click trick, you get a copy of the data. You can change this data all day long and it's not going to affect your pivot table or your real data. But you can do whatever you want with it when you're done. You can delete it. You're back to where you started. We've talked about filtering and sorting. We've talked uh, about uh, pivoting back and forth, and we've talked about drilling down to detail. Another clever thing you can do with pivot tables is grouping. Let me show you what I mean. If I pull state out of here, and so I just have my physicians here, I'm going to pull the date field down to row labels. And what I have is all kinds of dates. And you say, well, that's not all that helpful to just have, you know, July 25th, 2009 down here. It would really help if we could see, you know, maybe the year 2009 or the month July or compare July of 2009 to July 2010, some of those kind of things. You can do that by grouping your data. Here's how to do it. I can pick any one of these dates in here. Don't let Excel do this to you. You don't want a row here. You want this cell with the date in it. From there, what I can do is either right click and choose group or I can go to the pivot table tools options and come over here and choose group and what we'll do is we'll group selection and Excel recognizes that I have a date and says alright Nate what do you want to do with it I think I'll group by months and by years notice I can choose more than one I'm not limited to just months or quarters I can do months and years like that and I'll let Excel automatically keep track of where my data starts and ends that doesn't bother me and I'll click OK now that fast I have 2008 2009 by month and year and if I get doctor out of the way and put years over there look how fast I can trend my data and I can say alright in July 2009 I was at 220,000 what happened my collections are down to 198 and 206 in 2011 and I can drill down to detail or I could filter a little more and just look at one doctor just look at one location just look at maybe um, one uh, state or CPT code or whatever else I wanted to drill down and understand once I know that I have a trend here by grouping the data and how did I group the data I just picked what I wanted to group by this field over here and then did group and group allowed me to group or I can ungroup and take those groupings of months and years away last thing I want to show you is when you group more than one select or when you choose more than one way to group the data remember I chose months and years look what Excel did to me down here my original field is called date and so the month field is here and it's grouped by date Excel had to give this other way to group the data this years field a different name so it could keep track when I pivot back and forth where the which field is which and so it automatically called the years field years for me so it's really easy for me to keep track that's years and date is now the field that has months in it that's what I wanted to show you about grouping, how easy it is to group dates and how Excel automatically creates names for you when you group by more than one category when you're grouping dates. Stay tuned next time I want to show you a new data set and with that new data set we'll group things besides dates. I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for watching.